Hello guys and welcome back. This is Pete Dahlgren building the Mirrors Models F86. I'm going to talk a little bit about these frames and what we got here in this and we're going to just kind of go through this a little bit. This is number four. Okay, now guys it's very important that we get these faced in a correct relation where they're going to go in the jig there's some there's a lot of guys that have asked me about this now we're going to go through this one actually in the steps where they are now everybody asked me about these feet these go in the jig and they have to be in there you can i there's just no way there, there's no way you cannot do it this way. You have to put it together and glue these in and get it ready to go. They're very simple. They are numbered to the relation of where they go. And I want you guys to understand, this is probably one of the most critical parts of this build. Um, this has to be gunshot, straight, perfect, everything, or there's no point in building this airplane. So what I've done is I've gotten, I got the straightest two by six that I could get at the, at the lumber yard. And I took it to a cabinet shop and had them machine it and actually make it flat. It's going to be a big wood I-beam. But before we go over there and start to set this up, we got to install all these feet. Now, a lot of guys know about my table here. It's marble. It's flat, and it's got plenty of ample room in here. And if I need more room, I'll move the computers and everything off of it. But this is the one part that's going to make it or break it. And it has to be absolutely perfectly straight. And it will be. It's not even an issue and you guys are going to find this really is not going to be all that hard and it's going to go together yeah, really actually very quickly there is however there is a piece like this okay it's bulkhead 14 and i am building the two piece i've already built that sub assembly as i've shown but this is actually this is actually what it is and you're going to notice that it replaces 14 and it's got a whole lot more meat on it than what the original did and that's so it can be bolted together it's got a lot of hardware and it's very thick in that area which is cool so there's really not a real huge need to go up there and beef this up i am however going to add on both sides of this part when i do put in the engine mount plate I will put in some triangle stock underneath it just just for a safety feature on both sides of this because the exhaust pipe will bolt into the rear one. You do have to cut that piece and you do have to cut this. But one thing I will sh tell you and I already showed you on the other video on it. We'll talk about it again when we start to install it. Because there is a little bit of trimming that will need to be done very carefully up on the top. And it's no big deal. Anybody can do this. And it, it's no, no big deal. So, anyway, what I'm doing here, I've noticed that some of the parts, we're going to set this aside. Don't need that. Some of these parts are... Like I said, they're not in quite order. So what we want to do is we want to take this and we want to find and make sure that we have all of the parts available and we're doing any repairs. Should there be any, any kind of repairs that need to be done, should they need to be. These, it's important that the numbers actually face forward. That is part number four, and some are, some are not. But anyway, uh, bulkhead seven is Daddy. cut. Daddy. cut. Daddy. 